this video from Sharp Help we're going to quickly demonstrate how to print out the EJ or electronic journal report on the XEA 137 cash register. There's two versions of the report you can run. You can turn the key to the X flash mode and just do a read only report. However, I'm going to do the resetting report because I don't want the EJ data to keep building up in the till. So this report running the Z position will not only print the data out, but it will also reset it, leaving you with a full EJ memory. To run the report, whichever one you want to do, turn the key to the appropriate mode position, type in 700, then press the receipt switch button, followed by the total button there. So there we go, that's the EJ report read and reset. So this EJ data, because I've done it in the Z position, has now been reset. So I can turn the key back to reg or to the off mode. Now I should point out an electronic journal report isn't a, a sales report as such. All it is, is a copy of every transaction that the till has done since the last time you reset the EJ. So this report doesn't just include sales, but it includes programmings that you've done on the machine. Um, so everything you've programmed on the machine since your last time you read the EJ will be there. All the sales will be, be, be there, but they'll be there as individual transactions. Um, one useful advantage um, or thing you can get out of an EJ report is if you lost a Z report for a specific day and you haven't reset the EJ, you can then run the EJ report and amongst all the other data, um, which should be easy to find because it's done chronologically so you can find the date and time it was run, you can find the report and then check that it matches your records. Um, so yeah, so an EJ, it's not a sales report, it's a audit role, so it's as if the teal had a second audit or journal role and rather than printing out as it goes along, you forced it to print out all in one go. So I hope that video has been useful. Uh, there's plenty of other videos appearing on screen now showing you how to get the best reports out of the 137. Um, you're welcome to watch those. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.